What's up guys? Welcome back to the Kevin Rhea channel. This is Rhea. If you are new here, please do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, do everything you gotta do in order to hear me, just see me, just be me. Just. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Kevin Rhea channel. This is Rhea, if you did not know. If you are new here, please do not forget to like, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. We are a growing channel. Help us out, help us out, help us grow. So today it is just me because I am passionate about this topic, like, I'm passionate, this is my time. This is my season, like this is my moment. This is like, this was meant for me. This was made for me. I'm a fall baby. I am a fall essential. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyways guys, I love fall. Like, City Girls Point Blank Period, I love fall. Like I can't stress it, a, 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 I cannot stress it enough. I'm like getting excited speaking about it. I love everything about fall. I like the clothes, I like the weather, I like the food, I like the smells, I like the colors, like, I'm a fall baby. So with that being said, I just wanted to come to you guys with a video that is my essentials, with my essentials for fall. Because believe it or not, there are definitely some things that are certainly essential for fall and getting to this time. I know this is a hard time for a lot of you because you know winter is coming and I understand that. So that is why I'm making this video to just you know, help you a little bit, just help you a little bit. So let's move on to the one thing that lets me know that fall is coming, like clockwork, my skin, all right? My skin will dry up like a prune. Y'all got that one. That is one strike against fall. Well, I mean, technically it's because winter is coming. The moisture just gets sucked out the just gets sucked out the air. The moisture gets sucked out your skin, your hair, your everything is disgusting. So you gotta stay moisturizing. I have found the perfect thing to help you guys be moisturized, stay moisturized, keep moisturized. And it is an oldie but a goodie. It is number one. Oof! I know my lights are bright. I know it may be hard to see, but I'm just gonna explain it to you. What if we get closer? No, it's just blurry. All right, we're working on how to do this YouTube thing. Y'all know this. The African, the African Shea Butter. Now, let, we're not just gonna stop here, because we all know that this is good, but this comes with some issues. Number one, as you can see, I obviously do be using it. It's like half dug out. Number one, it's very yellow and it will yellow your sheets if you use it just like this. Number two, it's very tough. You will grow muscles trying to rub this thing into your skin. So introducing the OG, oldie, but also goodie, the Nivea body lotion. But this is the one with the vanilla, with the almond oil and vanilla scent. Absorbs quickly and transfers dry skin into the beautiful nourished skin. They didn't lie, but it's better if you mix it with this. Holy, 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 holy. It's the holy grail. I'm telling you, you guys, if you mix the African shea butter with the Nivea lotion, oh my gosh. For, I use it on my kids. I use it, I mean, I don't use it on my husband, but my husband uses it too. I use it, and I mean all three of us don't have, all three of us, all four of us don't have the same skin type. So for it to work for all of us beautifully, like moisturize, morning, day, night, doesn't matter. The holy grail, like you will not regret this. Both of them separate is good. Both of them together, together? is amazing all right so stay moisturized that's all i gotta say stay moisturized that's a good ass combination but staying on the topic of skin i love me i love me why do i sound like that me <laughs> it's like a <laughs> cut 
I love me a body scrub. Oh my gosh, I love me a body scrub, especially in the fall time because you have all that dead skin and in order to get rid of the dead dry skin, you have to scrub it off. So I definitely pump up my body scrubbing regimen to about five times a week in the fall time. And it doesn't dry me out at all because, oh, it's, first of all, it's made of sugar and it has oil. So when you scrub it on your skin, you scrub, how do I repeat things? I don't understand, I'm trying to make sure y'all get it. But when you scrub it on your skin and you let it sit in the shower and the shower is steaming and it's making the sugar just melt into the oil into your skin and it just sucks in like all the moisture that the body scrub has. Not to mention they're typically scented and when you let that like just sit and melt in the shower, I personally think that you smell better longer because of body scrub, because your skin literally absorbs it. Like it's, it's beautiful. I love body scrubs for that, for the moisture, for how just like shiny and just smooth and soft it leaves your skin, but also the scent, like the scent that it, it lets linger. So in the morning time, I like to do the coffee scrub because it just kind of wakes me up. Y'all know, I like things, I like coffee, number one. I like coffee. Number two, I like coffee. I said that was number one. Okay, <laughs> number two, I like to be rejuvenated and coffee does that whether you drink it or put it on your skin. I'm like such a big coffee advocate, even though I can't drink much of it since, you know, as you can see wide load most of them pretty much are the same thing it just all depends on what scent you like but i personally like the coffee latte one but because i killed it i'm now using just like the regular coffee the latte the latte is it and at night time i use the brown sugar because you know that's what i am brown sugar Yes. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's when I'm going to bed. I don't go to bed alone. Y'all know this. I don't go to bed alone. So I have to smell like I'm somebody's brown sugar. So that is why I use the brown sugar in the nighttime. Thank you very much. But I mean, if you're going to bed by yourself, you can, you know, it can smell good for you. It can smell good for you. You don't need anybody to smell good for. It smell good for you. Okay, so next is all about the smell of your crib. Like, your home gotta smell like fall in the fall, or else you're just wasting the whole season away. You need to come in and you need to smell those folly scents. Like, you just have to. So, some people use candles, and I love candles for like the aromatic therapy. But unfortunately, all the candles I have right now are still kind of like summery. I didn't get around to buying my fall candles. But one thing I did make sure to do, because I have a diffuse. I'm so mad that my light is drowning everything out. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. I love to use my air diffuser. This one is by Vit. Vit, what? Bite? But let me look up how to spell it pronounce this. Y'all will make fun of me if I don't pronounce this thing right. I already know how y'all roll. So let me see how I pronounce this. So I have my Vitruvi. Vitruvi? Did I pronounce that right? Vitruvi? I have my Vitruvi air diffuser, which was honestly expensive as hell, but it's good. I'm not gonna lie. I do like it. Not only for the aesthetics, because typically, Oil infusers look like very cheap to me, but this is like a nice, and this is not sponsored whatsoever, but you don't want to sponsor me, please. I'm new, I'm just starting out. You can sponsor me, okay, I'm open to it. It's aesthetically very beautiful, even though my kids scuffed it up a little bit. I love the color, it's very fall, it's giving much fall, lots of fall. And it has different settings you can use it on and it really just like fills up the room. I love it, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. So in the meantime, I would honestly use both. 
Like if I have scents that complement each other, I would get a candle and put this on to really like just fill the room in its entirety. But for now, I'm just using this and I bought some scents off of Amazon because you know they're the GOAT, all right? You know they are the GOAT, all right? And this is just Spices by PB, PB and J. Guys, I'll put everything that I have in the description box. And I definitely do not like all of the scents they had in here. What were some of the ones that I didn't like? I don't put names on this. Some of them were just nasty. Like, not nasty, but for instance, cinnamon. I don't wanna smell cinnamon. Like, I don't wanna smell just straight cinnamon. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm good off of that one. But they have one that's called Harvest Spice. Oh, it just, oh, it smells so good. It smells like fall. It, just, it smells so good, guys. All right, so these are my four favorite out of the pack, which is pretty much the whole pack. Uh, pumpkin pie, can't go wrong. Harvest spice, so good. Gingerbread, can't go wrong. And apple cider, just can't go wrong. Like these tents would just have you in such a mood, like such a fall ready mood. Like you're just asking like, where's Thanksgiving at? Like where's Christmas at? Like you're just waiting for it. These scents, yeah, it's, it's a mood. These are a mood. So yeah, this is definitely a must, especially if you're not like feeling the holiday spirits or anything. There's something about sight and smell that can really just like bring on a, a type, any type of emotion that you want, to be honest. So if you put up like some nice fall decor and you have a nice smelling fall house, does that even make sense? Okay, you put up some fall decor and you have your house smelling like fall. It would really like spark your holiday spirit. So if you're having trouble with that, I would definitely recommend making your house smell as though Santa's coming. Okay, so the next is warming up your insides. We are definitely a warm beverage drinking home and it only really comes I hope I don't get stretch marks. It could be itchy, like I don't know. This causes stretch marks. Stop. Back at it. We definitely love warm drinks, but we only like it in the fall time. Like I can't drink hot coffee in the summer. I don't know how y'all do that. I don't know what kind of cold-blooded animals you are that are able to drink scorching hot coffee in scorching hot weather but I can't do that. I, I love hot chocolate and I can't do that either in the summer. It, it waits for me. It waits for the fall. It waits for the temperature to drop. So with that being said, we definitely have a lot of different mugs, but the two favorite are, for me at least, is this clear one that I got from Amazon. It is so big, I think it's like 16 ounces, and I drink fast. Like I'm a fast drinker, which is why when I go out. <laughs> um, yeah, I like big drinks. I'm a big girl. I like big drinks. So I really like using this mug because it carries a lot. And I drink all types of hot beverages. Like I said, because I'm pregnant, can't really, really, can't really do coffee that much. But hot chocolate, tea, warm lemon water, like, this is typically the glass that I use for it. And if I'm feeling schmancy, oh my God, I forgot like, who made this? Jonathan Adler, okay. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll use, this is the mug I call the mug of many faces. If you've watched Game of Thrones, you know where that is coming from, but yeah. I call this one the Mugs of Many Faces. I think it is so cute and unique. It's from Jonathan Adler. It's sold a lot of places, but typically on like luxury luxury sites. Like I got this from I got this one from Neiman's, but you know, Saks, Neiman's, Nordstrom, all of those type of stores I believe sell it. I'm not sure if any others do, but um, yeah, I really like this mug when I'm just trying to be cute. You know, this is the one that only I'm allowed to use. 
obviously I'm not gonna make the kids use it and if guests come over and try to use my mug, I look at them like, uh, no, this is definitely for the woman in the house, okay? So yeah, and right now, what typically goes in the mug are these hot chocolates. Oh my gosh, like my whole entire house, well, apartment, my whole entire apartment loves this hot chocolate, like, this is from Ghirardelli. You know, you guys know they don't do chocolate wrong. Like they don't do chocolate wrong. I literally have a big old box of these. I even stash them because you gotta put some in the back because if they know how much is left, they're going to use all of it. So you gotta put some aside. This is this is mom talking now. This is family talking now. You gotta put some aside for the household that you know you'll use too. And when that's done, you then go into your secret stash and you do what you gotta do. So I definitely be stashing these. And I am a child at heart, so I gotta have the marshmallows to go with it. Um, you guys can definitely get all this on Amazon if you have a hard time finding it in your local store. Um, I, like I said, I don't go to the store. Like, I do go grocery shopping. But if I want specific things that Whole Foods, because Whole Foods is the nearest store to me, so that's where I get all my groceries. But they be trying to play, they be trying to play with some of these brands. Like, they don't carry Ghirardelli, they don't carry a lot of brands, so I would then just buy it online. So yeah, the hot chocolate with the marshmallows, that's always a win in the fall for me, like always a win. Moving on to the jammies, guys, the jammies. You can't go wrong with silk, like in any season. But let me not play myself. It's probably satin. I got it off of Amazon. But I'll link like where, which vendor I bought this one from. But it feels so good and I love it. Like I love to walk around the house in it. And yeah, I love it. Like it just feels so good. And I really like the color. But yeah, I love the way these pajamas feel, the way they look. Putting on my pajamas, my mug, like, it just says, ah, oh, I'm a fall baby. I love it. Okay guys, so now I'm going to speak about two fall clothing essentials. When I think of fall, I think of fur. I think of very nice jackets and fur, whether it's shirling, whether it's faux, whether it's fox, don't. I know, Peter, I know. I pray that they, the animals were humanely, like all jokes aside, I really, like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I really do love a fur, guys. It's like me wanting to go vegan, but I just like really love meat. Like I really don't want to wear real fur but it's just, <sighs> yeah, I'm working on that. Um, so, I love, like, I love, I love a fur headband. And it keeps your head warm, too, obviously. <laughs> and it's just so cute, oh my gosh. Like, I think this, in the fall slash winter, it just, like, it's a vibe, like, it's a vibe. Like, no matter what you have on, you don't need a jacket with it. You don't need to like, floss, like, it's just a vibe. It just says like, it's, it's giving rich auntie for sure. I love this. This is fox fur. <laughs> Can you tell by the way it like bounces? I run my hands through it. Listen, I know a lot of you would not think this is an essential, but I'm telling you, if you wanna take any outfit in the fall time slash winter up a notch, throw on a fur headband. Throw it on. It'll, it'll snatch any outfit for you, I promise. And next would have to be, mind you, I have a lot of coats. That's my thing, like that's my thing. I'm not even gonna go into like the crazier fall jackets that I have. I'm just gonna show you like an essential, like something that you essentially need in your closet. 
and that is and it could be faux this one actually is faux um yeah you know it could be faux it could be real it's up to it's your preference it's your preference but yeah you need like a good fur coat like oh my god i love this fur coat i love it I love it so much. Like, it just says, like, it's just rich auntie. It's just rich auntie. Like, and this one is from Stan Studio. I love Stan Studio jackets. I'm definitely putting y'all on right now because their jackets look and feel like they're so. Y'all yo, could feel this? Like, this, this right here could make me get down with PETA with the, you know, faux fur because this, isn't it? They gotta be lying. I think they lying. They honestly gotta be lying to stay in Peter's good grace because this don't feel like faux fur at all. Like, oh my gosh. Yo, Stan Studio, I love their stuff. It's not like super overpriced. <sighs> I mean, it depends because I think there are a few things you have to spend a lot of money on in order to, or a good amount of money on in order to get something good. And it's the accessories, you know, the boots, the bags. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna say shoes in general, because you can get some really cute shoes that aren't that expensive. But when it comes to jackets, you can tell, like you can really tell if the person didn't buy high quality and a high quality jacket can run you thousands of dollars stan studio is that good in between where the quality is impeccable and the price is like medium so i would definitely recommend if you want to invest in a good jacket without completely breaking the bank check out stan studio i have so much of their coats i get compliments on them constantly Every single Stan Studio jacket that I have, I get compliments on. People are like, yo, where did you get that from? Men, women, everyone. I'm not even gonna show all of those. We're just talking about essentials. Yeah, this is an essential. This is an essential. Very, very essential. All right? This is very essential, okay? And I almost forgot to mention like the whole household section that you gotta have a nice blanket, like, you gotta have a nice blanket. It's getting cold. You don't wanna be under sheets, you know? Not, oh, God, stop itching, girl. You don't wanna be under sheets, not feeling like you're being hugged by a warm teddy bear. I told y'all that I love fur. <laughs> like, it's cold. How is fur not essential? <laughs> and I got this blanket from Amazon. It is so warm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like we always fight over this blanket in my house. Like everybody always wants this particular one. It's really big, well, it's not really big. It's a good size, it could probably fit, you know, two adults, two adults, one child kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I like it to myself. This is such a good blanket, like, that'd be sweet. I'd be sweet with this blanket, oh my gosh. Y'all can feel it. I got this from Amazon. Yo, the gold. I'm telling y'all, the gold. This blanket is it. This blanket is it. It's it. <laughs> and I hope you're not seeing. This is definitely just seeming like a what Rhea likes and not an essential video. I'm telling y'all, everything I mentioned will help you get through the fall. If you're a fall lover, if you don't love the fall, everything that I mentioned will help you feel better about the fall, okay? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually got up and was done filming this video and I wasn't even finished. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse the fact that it's nighttime because I literally came back and I'm like, no, I'm going to finish the video the right way. So, one thing that I forgot that I mean is definitely an essential is a robe. Come on now. So yes, this is definitely a must, a super, 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 super essential. Um, but honestly, the main reason, I was rushing because my kids were coming. So I was like, you know what? Let me just like finish this video right here. I told my husband, I was like, no. I have to finish this video the right way. When I remembered that I didn't end it off with a prayer. And like, that's my thing. Like, 
I want to give prayers at the end of my videos to help encourage whoever needs encouragement. And I know some of you may be like, girl, relax. It was a fall essential video. You definitely did not need to end it with a prayer. But yes, I did. Why? Because that's just who I am, how I be, how I stay. So anyways, robe, yeah, check. So let's get into it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me this platform to be able to pray for whoever is on the other side of this camera. Lord Father God, I do not know what problems they may be going through, but you do know, Lord. So I ask for you to comfort them in their time of need, Heavenly Father. Give them the words of encouragement, inspiration that they need in order to keep going. Sorry, you know I'm pregnant in order to keep going in whatever it is that is troubling them, Heavenly Father. You are the everlasting source of all things good, Lord Father God. So I just pray that they tap into that source and I pray that you give them the resources that they need throughout this week in order for them to make great decisions, God-fearing decisions, Heavenly Father. I ask you to bless whoever is watching this video, bless whoever made it to the end of this video, Heavenly Father and just speak to them heavenly father touch their heart so that they know that you are real and that you are with them at all times Lord father god we thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing in our lives lord father god we have so much gratitude towards you we praise you we give you all the honor and all the glory for everything that we have we thank you lord father god to be able to sit here and watch this video Lord father god because many people don't even have that luxury Lord father god we just want you to know that we are grateful for everything and one thing that we will never lack is gratitude in jesus name i pray that everyone goes on to have a great day a great week a great rest of the year like just amazing amen i will see you guys in the next video